Hi everyone, it's Sean here. And I just um, would like to do a comparison between the Palace Arms and another establishment that I'm living at now, and how night and day the two places are completely different. You know, this here is the Palace Arms Rules and Regulations, which I have about seven of them are probably uh, seven of those regulations. So, just comparing them, here's the comparison I have. At the Palace Arms, it was strictly cash. Maybe one out of a hundred guys gave a money order. The establishment I'm at, they have a debit machine, so you can pay by debit. At the Palace, if you wanted to pay rent, you had to go to the bank machine, get out the money, and give it to the owner. Here at this establishment, if you want to pay by cash, or if you want to use your debit card, you can have a debit machine right on site. I always thought it was unusual that, they, that the owner would never get a debit machine so you could pay by debit. Uh, the second thing I wanted to uh, bring up is the um, at this particular establishment, uh, if you don't get a hold of anybody between 9 a.m. and 9 p.m., you just don't pay your rent. And you've got to wait till the next day to pay your rent. At, at the Palace Arms, they had a box, meaning you could put your money in at 9 p.m. and the money be there overnight, all night long, the money be in an office. What a target for thieves. And at this establishment, I noticed that as soon as the owner gets money in the day, he goes and throws it in the bank right away. Also, there's no money kept on site. You pay these guys by debit or cash and they get rid of it quickly. They never keep money on site. Keeping money on site is one of the most foolish things an owner can do. It's ridiculous. And these guys at the place I'm at now do not do that. Um, the other thing I would have to say is about repairs and that. Whenever a door closer at the palace was off, for example at 9.44, I remember one day I went to visit somebody at 4 o'clock. The door closer was broken. It wasn't fixed until probably past 12 noon the next day. At this establishment, I went and I went out for a walk one night and the door closer was off at around 7. Got back from my walk at 7.45 and the door closer was, was fixed. It meant that they had an on-site maintenance guy, which really is something that was never at the Palace Arms. You had to wait the next day to get it fixed and uh, if it got broken at 4 o'clock on a Tuesday, the maintenance guy wouldn't get in till like 10 a.m. or 11 a.m. on a Wednesday to fix it. It was ridiculous. So the whole night you, a door closer which keeps the door shut, you could walk in and out of the door. There was no on-site repair men at that establishment. Uh, let me look at over some of the rules and regulations that I can find. Well, this one doesn't make sense. It's for uh, men only. That's BS because there were women living at the Palace Arms. So that does that. Well, use your rent deposit slot through, through uh, Office One. Okay, well, I never did like that idea. Putting money in an envelope and putting it in a box, no good. Also, um, they said no cooking facilities. I also noticed that you couldn't put a kettle or a microwave oven in the room because it would blow power because what they had was they would have like a 15 amp circuit from what I, I hear and there would be three rooms on a 15 amp circuit. So no two guys plugged in the kettle, boom, the power went out. Here at this establishment, every single room from what I hear is on a separate circuit. So you can plug a kettle in and not worry about the power going out. But with the faulty wiring in that place, you could not plug in, uh, you could not do any cooking whatsoever. And they didn't have any cooking facilities on site. There was no stove, there was no um, any cooking facilities on site. There's nothing like that. So you had to use what I believe there was a microwave in the lobby you could use. But you couldn't cook any food there. There was no cooking. Um, and with the electrical wiring in that building, I can see why. No room refund, which I thought was very interesting. That was BS because they did give money back. I know a guy that was living next to me. He paid two weeks rent and uh, he stayed a week and he wanted the second week back and they gave him the money back. At this establishment, you pay two weeks, you stay the two weeks. There's no one week rent back. So that, the no rent refund is a bunch of horse manure. Visitors must leave by 11 p.m. Well, that was broken millions of times. 
check out time is noon well that wasn't thoroughly thought through because some guys would drag it out to one or two well like this place we are not responsible for articles left behind rooms after checkout of course they weren't if something got stolen you're on your own break-ins or loss yeah same thing here balls of packages on window sills well maybe they would force that because a guy was afraid of being sued and that's just uh, the way it is I also noticed at the palace arms that um, the front door and the side door unlike this establishment there were no fire rated doors they were wooden doors and they weren't fire rated here I noticed the two to the front door and the side door are both fire rated metal doors here the at the palace arms there was no fire rated doors and the other thing I noticed about this establishment since I've been here like about eight months I've only seen the police twice at the palace arms you've basically seen the police every every bleep in three days so uh, and they seem to have more people working here you have a night desk man you have a morning desk man you have a maintenance guy that seems to be on site 24 7 none of this was happening at the palace absolutely none of it was and uh, it seems like they're more on top of things way more on top of things in the palace arm the palace arms was just poorly run by a guy who really wasn't a businessman or really never should have been in the ownership position because he just didn't know what he was doing and uh, that's basically it I um, you know and the fire department too I mean you know they seem to be there at least once a month here I think I've seen the fire department have I seen the fire department no I haven't <laughs> so that's the big difference between the palace arms and the establishment I'm living now and it seems like the people that clean the building the maids here do a much better job than the maids there the owner was not on top of the maids or the cleaning staff really didn't give a hoot the maids or cleaning staff could get away with what they want sit on their cell phone talk all day but here it seems the guy that does the cleaning does an excellent job he's really on top of it, it he does a much better attempt at cleaning there the owner didn't go around and check really didn't care as long as he got the money he didn't care and that's all I have to say about this topic